Hello, Assalamualaikum. I welcome you to my channel Explore with Dr. Asif. In this video, we will discuss literary criticism from one paper exam point of view, especially for the English lectureship test that is conducted in various parts of the country and the world. There will be four options for each statement, and as you know, only one of them will be correct. As we move from one question statement to another, I would also like to explain certain comments as this presentation goes by. Let's start with the first statement. Who was the first literary critic who said that art is twice removed from reality? The options are Plato, Aristotle, Longinus, Horace. And the correct answer is Plato. Plato was talking only about the literal reality, especially he was talking about the literal lies that were being told in literature by his contemporaries. He was not concerned with imaginative or creative literature. Number two, who proposed that poets should be banished from the ideal public? Options are Plato, Aristotle, Longinus, Horace. Again, the answer is Plato. Plato based his ideal republic on the principles of reason and logic. And he believed that as poets watered feelings and emotions, they did not deserve a place in his republic. Number three, Aristotle's critical work is entitled Poetics, Art Poetica, Art Poetic, Arts Poetica. So obviously, the answer is poetics. Number four, who is the author of Ars Poetica? Option A, Horace. B, Plato. C, Aristotle. D, Dante. The answer is Horace, who was Roman, and his approach was classical. Next, who is the author of the symposium? Plato, Longinus, Dante, Aristotle. The answer is Plato. Next, Horace was Roman critic, French critic, Greek critic, German critic. As we discussed earlier, Horace was a Roman critic. Aristotle discusses the theory of tragedy in poetics, rhetoric, arts poetica, art poetic, and we all know that the answer is poetics. How many principal sources of sublimity are there according to Lenzinus? Five, six, four, none. The answer is five. And Lenzinus is considered the first romantic critic that he focused solely on imagination, on creativity, and he did not believe in craft. What is the meaning of the term Hamartia? or Hamartia as used by Aristotle in his theory of tragedy. A weak trait in the character of the hero, working of fate against the hero, tragic end of the tragedy, no. So the answer is a weak trait in the character of the hero. Weak trait here does not mean any sin or moral failure. Rather, it is some kind of temperamental defect that forces the character to act in a way that otherwise he might not have acted. What is the meaning of the term peripetia as used by Aristotle in his theory of tragedy? Change in the fortune of the hero from good to bad. Change in the fortune of the hero from bad to good. Constancy in the fortune of the hero. And the fourth option is none. And the option is change in the fortune of the hero from good to bad. What is the meaning of the term anagnosis as used by Aristotle in his theory of tragedy? Option A, the hero's recognition of his tragic flaw. Option B, the hero's ignorance about his tragic flaw. Answer C, the hero's recognition of his adversary. Option D, the hero's recognition of his tragic end. Obviously, the answer is recognition. Recognition does not just mean recognition of tragic flaw. It also means recognition of the general environment, general scheme of things, 
in which hero acts and it is also the recognition of his limits and limitations as individual and his realization that perhaps he is not in a position to change everything or to put the world in the right direction as he wants what is denoma denoma is actually a french word and spellings are d e n o u n e m e n t and it is pronounced as denoma options are the ending of a comedy the ending of a tragedy the climax in a tragedy the climax in a comedy the answer is the ending of a tragedy so it is actually the anti climax that is called denouement number 13 who is the originator of the theory of imitation in literature option a plato option b lenzinus option c aristotle option d none the correct answer is plato number 14 who was the most illustrious disciple of socrates option a plato b plotus c sophocles d citrus correct option a from where the term oedipus complex originated oedipus the rex antigon oedipus at corns or none the correct option is oedipus the rex next the term electra complex has originated from a tragedy entitled electra who is the author of this tragedy the options are sophocles euripides seneca aeschylus and the correct answer is sophocles in which of the following works plato discusses his theory of poetry the republic ion apology none the option is the republic who is the author of a notorious book entitled the school of abuse options are stephen dawson john skelton stephen hawes roger aska and the answer is stephen dawson Philip Sidney's apology for poetry is a defense of poetry against the charges brought against it by Stephen Dawson, John Skelton, Roger Ashton, Henry Howard, and the answer is Stephen Dawson. Number twenty. It's not rhyming and versing that maketh a poet. No more than a long worn maketh an advocate. Whose view is it? Sidney, Marlowe, Spencer, Shakespeare, and the answer is Sidney. and you must also focus on this quote as well this is very popular it's not rhyming and versing that make it a poet this is a quote from philip sidney 21 what does sidney say about the observance of the three dramatic unities in drama number 1 they must be observed number 2 it's not necessary to observe them number 3 he favors the observation number 4 none and the answer is they must be observed 22 what does ben johnson mean by a humorous character option a a character whose temper is determined by the predominance of one out of the four fluids in the human body option b a character who is always cheerful and gay option c no and the correct answer is option a 23 which of the following is a critical work of ben johnson option a discoveries b discourse of english poetry c art of english poetry d none and the answer is discoveries 24 dryden wrote an essay of dramatic poetry what is this an interlocution a poetical work a drama and essay the option a is correct number 25 in dryden's essay of dramatic poetry there are four interlocutors representing four different ideologies which of them expresses dryden's own views neander lycidius eugenius Scritus, and the correct answer is Neander. Twenty-six is Dryden's essay of dramatic poetry a work of comparative criticism, interpretative criticism, legislative criticism, textual criticism, and the answer is comparative criticism. Twenty-seven. Who called Dryden the father of English criticism? Options are Dr. Johnson, Coleridge, Matthew Arnold, Joseph Anderson. and the correct option is dr johnson so you should also focus on this as well that dryden is called the father of english criticism number 8 poetic diction was taken to be the standard language for poetry in option a the new classical age 
B the Victorian age, C the Elizabethan age, D the Romantic age. The correct option is new classical age. New means again classical refers to the classics. So in new classical age, the rules of poetry and art given by classics, that is the Greeks, they were employed again. The new classical age is synonymous with rules and regulations. The tragic comedy, which is the product of the English theatre, is one of the most monstrous inventions that ever entered into a poet's thought. Whose views is this? Joseph Edison's, Dr. Johnson's, John Dryden's, Alexander Pope's. And the answer is Edison's. B. Homer's works, your study and delight, read them by day and meditate by night by Pope, Dryden, Johnson, Edison. Pope. And as you know, Pope also translated Homer into English language. Which of the following critics preferred Shakespeare's comedies to his tragedies? Number one, Dr. Johnson, Pope, Dryden, none. Answer is Dr. Johnson. Dr. Johnson wrote a preface to Shakespeare. Wordsworth's preface to lyrical ballads is believed to be the preamble to romantic criticism. In which year was it published? 1800s, 1789, 1879, 1875. And the answer is 1800. 33. Who is the author of the Four Ages of Poetry? Thomas Love Peacock, Samuel Rogers. B. Quincy, Thomas Campbell, and the answer is Thomas Love Picard. 34. Who is the author of the Biographia Literaria? S. T. Corlett, William Hazlitt, P. B. Shelley, Dr. Johnson. And as you know, the answer is S. T. Corlett. 35. In the life of which poet did Dr. Johnson apply the term metaphysical school of poetry? Cowley, Dunn, Milton, Nunn. The option is Cowley. 36. I write in meter because I am about to use a language different from that of prose. Who says? Keats, Coleridge, Byron, none. And answer is Keats. 37. Which of the following critics has most elaborately discussed the concept of imagination? Coleridge, Fry, Walter Peter, Ruskin. And the answer is Coleridge. Coleridge is famous for the two terms, imagination and fancy. 38. Who says that poets are the unacknowledged legislators of the world? Shelley, Walter Pater, Matthew Arnold, T.S. Eliot. And the answer is Shelley. 39. Who has divided literature into two broad divisions, the literature of power and literature of knowledge? Options are D. Quincy, Matthew Arnold, F.R. Lewis, T.S. Eliot. And the answer is D. Quincy. Number 40. Who gave the concept of art for art's sake? Number one, Walter Pater, F. R. Lewis, T. S. Eliot, John Keats. So the answer is Walter Pater. Who gave the concept of art for life's sake? Matthew Arnold, Tennyson, T. S. Eliot, none. And the option is Matthew Arnold. Who said, for art's sake alone, I would not face the trial for writing a single sentence? G. B. Shaw. John Galsworthy, John Maysfield, T.S. Eliot. And the answer is G.B. Shaw. 43. In whose opinion, poetry is the most highly organized form of intellectual activity? Options are T.S. Eliot, D.H. Lawrence, G.B. Shaw, W.B. Yeats. And the answer is T.S. Eliot. He is famous for his essay, tradition, and individual talent. He also gave the concept correlative and he also wrote an essay what is classic a critic says that Pope's essay on criticism is all stolen which of the following critics says this lady M. W. Bonte Edison Robert Southey none lady M. W. Bonte and the important thing is that you must remember that essays on criticism was written by Pope Shelley's defense of poetry was a rejoinder to Thomas Love Peacock's The Four Ages of Poetry, Sydney's An Apology for Poetry, Dryden's Essay of Dramatic Poetry, Stephen Gosson's The School for Abuse. And the answer is Thomas Love Peacock's The Four Ages of Poetry. Dryden found English poetry brick and left it marble. 
who said this? Dr. Johnson, Pope, Matthew Arnold, Cowley, and Aunt Service, Dr. Johnson. Who is the author of Seven Types of Ambiguity? William Epson, Stephen Spender, Walter Pater, S.T. Cowley. And the answer is William Epson. Who is the author of New Bearings in English Poetry? F.R. Lewis, Walter Pater, Matthew Arnold, T.S. Eliot. And the answer is F.R. Lewis. Who is the author of the Sacred Wood? Options are T.S. Eliot, I.A. Richards, Walter Pater, Matthew Arnold. Answer is T.S. Eliot. Who called Shakespeare's Hamlet an artistic failure? T.S. Eliot, I.A. Richard, F.R. Lewis, Elgo Saxon. It was T.S. Eliot. Who is the author of Conversations with Drummond, Ben Johnson, George Puttenham, Thomas Lodge, John Brighton, and the option is Ben Johnson. Who is the author of characters of Shakespeare's plays? Hazlitt, Coleridge, Edison, Charles Lamb. And the answer is Hazlitt. Charles Lamb wrote Shakespeare's tales, in which he gave summaries of all of Shakespeare's plays. Matthew Arnold is the author of one of the following works. Which of the following? Essays in Criticism. What is a classic? Appreciations, the English comic writers. And the answer is S. is interesting. 54. Who is the author of The Meaning of Meaning? I. E. Richards, F. R. Lewis, David Dishes, none. And the answer is I. A. Richards. Who is uh, 56? Who is the author of The Principle of Literary Criticism? I. E. Richards, William Epson, F. R. Lewis, David Dishes. Answer is I. E. Richards. Number seven, who has written Shakespeare's sonnets reconsidered? Samuel Butler, Walter Pater, F.R. Lewis, none. Answer is Samuel Butler. 58, who is the author of New Criticism? David Ashes, I.A. Richards, F.R. Lewis, John Crow Ransom. Answer is John Crow Ransom. 59, who is the author of Poetry Sense? Stephen Spender, Northrop Fry, I.A. Richard, none. Answer is Stephen Spender. Statement number 60. Who is the author of the Foundation of Aesthetics? I.E. Richards, Walter Pater, Stephen Spender, none. Answer is I.E. Richards. 61. Who wrote Making of Literature? R.A. Scott James, David Dashes, I.E. Richards, Matthew Arnold. Option is R.A. Scott James. Who wrote Critical Approaches to Literature? R.A. Scott James, David Dashes, William Epson, Roman Jacobson. And the answer is David Dashes. Who wrote Anatomy of Criticism? William Epson, I.A. Richards, David Dashes, Northrop Fry. And the answer is Northrop Fry. 64. Who wrote Mirror and Lamp? M.H. Abrams, Roman Jacobson, Patricia Waugh, Scott James. And answer is M. H. Evans. And this is considered one of the landmark books in literary criticism. 65. Who wrote the great tradition? Matthew Arnold, T. S. Eliot, I. A. Richards, F. R. Lewis. Answer is F. R. Lewis. Who wrote practical criticism? I. A. Richards, John Crow Ransom, Northrop Fry, T. S. Eliot. Answer is I.A. Richards. Who wrote Romantic Imagination? M.H. Abrams, C.M. Bora, I.A. Richards, I.A. Richards. Answer is C.M. Bora. Who wrote The Crown of Wild Ole? Dickens, Dryden, John Mills, John Ruskin. Answer is John Ruskin. 69. Who wrote The Garbodeck? William Hazlitt, Thomas Norton, Addison, William Epson. And answer is Thomas Norton. Statement number 70. Who wrote The Life of Poets and a Preface to Shakespeare? A.C. Bradley, William Hazlitt, Samuel Johnson, Ben Johnson. Answer is Samuel Johnson, who is also known as Dr. Johnson. And you should look at the spellings as well. In Samuel Johnson, we have H, 
in ben johnson we don't have it so that is it thank you good luck